Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I hope you're having an incredible day or night in Jesus. Thank you so much for being with us. We're in the Apostolic History Outline by Marvin Arnold, going at the moment, like year by year, of the expansion of the church, reading his amazing, unbelievable, really almost unparalleled research some ways may be unparalleled research. I know Bora, Gill, some others have some great research too. Um, Brother Bernard, obviously. But uh, let's get started here. And so AD 45, and some of this you just get implications from the Word of God and what's happening. So the Apostle Peter flees to Babylon, Asia of Babylon by the Euphrates. Uh, so Petrin doctrine spread into Asia Far East. Peter never went to Rome. This is Roland Baton, who's an amazing historian. I like everything he ever like hunted, heretic, all these other Neander. Peter was a Jewish escapee from a Roman prison, Acts 12. Had he gone to Rome, he would have been killed on the spot. Peter or Mary had nothing to do with Catholicism. So I like that point. So when it says, you know, they from Babylon, I don't think he was using code for Rome there. I think he was actually in Babylon. That would be the evidence. AD 34 to 40, a missionary endeavor started. Paul, Silas, Luke, they spread the gospel. Uh, Cyprus, on and on and so forth. Asia Minor evangelized. Athens. Now, he's got here Thaddeus indoctrinated Armenia, and that is from A.S. Ataya, A-T-I-Y-A. -A. I've read a lot about Armenian Christianity. Brother Dominguez, who's a first-rate apostolic historian, not just apostolic historian, he's a first-rate historian and theologian, amazing man, incredible, Jean Dominguez, currently missionary in Panama. And so um, a lot of these Armenians had the Holy Ghost on through the early 1900s and that's verifiable so uh ad 51 52 jews were driven from rome roland baton peter could not have been there if driven from rome um ad 50 through 60 the apostle thomas indoctrinated malabar india with acts 238 uh, doctrine. It was a Jewish settlement there, A.S. Ataya. Now, they had been told to go into all the world, teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, Jesus. So, teach, baptize, teach. I love Daryl John's great thing. Teach, baptize, teach. That's what we're supposed to do. And so they were doing that. They were going into all the world. And so, in Colossians twice, and also in Romans, it said they had preached to everybody under heaven. So we just have to go with what the Word of God says. Now, he's also got Thomas's Acts 238 Doctrine Reached China. I've done quite a few podcasts from our biblical archaeology today on early Christianity in China. There's a lot of truth in that, a lot of archaeological evidence. Ataya, page 261, but also Langer, page one. 26 to 530 and 537 neander 46 to 49 so 80 61 to 64 st paul's in rome but preached the jews in the ghetto there's no record that he reached spain now i would agree with that I, I, it's shocking to me i was reading some stuff from apostolics and they just took it as a matter of course yeah paul went to spain this happened not sure about that. I don't know if you can necessarily prove that. We do know Spain was filled with apostolic doctrine through Priscillian in the 6th, 7th, 8th century. Robert Robinson in the 1770s does a good job in ecclesiastical researches, history of baptism showing that. He went and did original source work at the various abbeys and monasteries and all this. So, A.D. 66 to 96, the apostles passed. They died. A.D. 66, evil clerics started to rise. Hymenaeus, Alexander, Phagellus, Hermogenes, Demas, Philetus, leave the true faith. Of course, Diotrephes should be in there as well. Um, in A.D. 66, Jude cries out. They went out from us, but they're not of us. Also, John and he goes on to say most were apostate Greeks. Some say Gnosticism. Uh, 
you, we could debate what they believed. Okay, false teachers, evil men seducers are going to wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Matthew 24, 24, had foretold of these false clerics. 1 Timothy 4, 1 through 3 was fulfilled. So of their type was the so-called post-apostolic fathers, such men Clement of Rome, Ignatius, Justin, Shepherd of Hermas, Polycarp later founded the Catholic cult of Rome. By AD 150 it evolved in the counter system uh, the Church of Rome with its vain bishops and priests. And by AD 340 it had popes. So St. Jude saw the early roots of Catholicism. So he's on to something there. And ever since I was a young man, you know, 40 years ago or almost, so well probably 40 years ago real close um when you read the so-called early church fathers it becomes evident to me that these are selectively edited and selectively there were thousands and hundreds of thousands maybe millions tens of millions of christians at the time so are we saying that the only things preserved were these or they were the only ones that wrote or were they selectively preserved because they advance at some point, even in embryonic form, a future Catholic doctrine? That's what I would say. And so many read backwards and we have to read forward from those time periods to get an accurate view. So God bless. We're going to stop there. Keep going. There's always been a church. The gates of hell cannot prevail against it. Amen.